let me just jump in here and talk about the nonsense team building activities. And here are three mistakes that HR is making with it. You want to use team building instead of addressing poor leadership. Now, that's not going to work. If you have shitty leaders in your organization, the team building is not the solution. The solution is going to those leaders and talk to them. Hey, lovelies, the toxicity that you are creating in here is going against what the company wants to achieve. It's going against what your employees need. And that's it. No team building. Second mistake. The third one is my favorite, but stay with this one. You are making a mistake by thinking that you can force people to build relationships. If I hate this girl next to me, I'm going to hate her, but it doesn't mean we can't work together. Okay. So we don't need to be dragged into an, a, a game where we can talk about which M&M's candy she is and which M&M's candy color, color I am. So then we, we can build relationships. People need to be taught how to work together. What we are looking for is functioning, working relationships, not best friends. That's not what you are looking for. And thinking that you can force these connections with a forced team building activity. Do you know what you are achieving with that? People, are hate, each, people hate each other even more because now I need to spend a full day with this person who I actually hate. Whilst I could avoid her maybe seven hours of the, out of the eight hours while working. Put that into context. Wait for the third one. This is how people learn. And this is what you guys are not getting. Let's say there are 1000 ways of explaining one thing. And out of these 1000 ways, two will get through to one person. The reason organizations, trainers, and you know, uh, you know, facilitators, use different techniques and different messages is because we don't know we can have the best message the best tool but if it doesn't resonate with sylvia that is the wrong tool and the wrong way of conveying the message so facilitators are looking for different ways and out of the 1000 to get through to people team building is just one and organizations stuck with that there are other 999 ways of explaining and for uh, people why working together is useful and creating that cohesive team. So if you stuck with one, it's very likely that nobody is going to receive your message. You're welcome.